Hi, I'm here today to introduce you how to use gem cutters and today we're looking at the ladies nine piece shoe. So just to show you what's involved in that set, we have the sole, the ankle strap, the back strap, the upper former and the left and right part of the heel. We also have an embosser for the upper strap here. I'll just move that to one side. We also have the heel former and the upper former. Now with the heel, if I just push these into the roller pad, you can see every cutter has a little handle just at the base, at the back, and these just push into the spaces in the roller pad. And if I leave those in there, you'll be able to see how we then create the heel. So I've just used gum paste or flour paste. I've rolled it to a teardrop shape, and I'm just gonna place that inside the shoe. Just make sure that sits neatly inside there. And we can just lift this out of the roller pad and just push one into the other. So I'm just gonna lift that while I give that a clip. And then I can pull that out of the pad and just show you how that works. Got some excess paste there, so just push that back into the cutter. And the same thing with the other side. So just give that a push so that you fill the area inside the pad. Now just to give myself a nice clean finish. I'm just going to use a pair of scissors just to snip off that excess paste and get rid of it. And the same thing just across the top. You could use a palette knife if you prefer, but I'm just using this for speed. And just snip away that excess paste. Again. Now with this section here, just make sure that sets nicely into the cutter. Now if you wanted to, you could just smooth that on the work surface, wherever that's easiest for you, just to create that nice flat area that you need within the cutter. And the same thing with the lower section as well. Now you may see you've just got a little bit of excess paste that's eased out of the cutter. Just remove that and then you're ready to just pull one section away from the other. And then you can see just where the excess paste is. Now I'm just going to use a, a cutting wheel just to remove that excess paste. You could use a craft knife if you prefer. So just pull that to one side. And push back in any excess that is left. Pull that away. Just going to turn that round and do exactly the same thing on the other side. And just again pull that away. And then the shoe heel is ready to just pull out. Section across the back there, you can just smooth that with your finger just to get rid of any crease marks or any joins. And the same thing on the other side. Again, if you want to take your scissors, if you need to do any trimming up, just snip away. And I think you may have missed a little bit earlier on. And this is now ready to sit into your little former, which is just across the way over here. So I'm just going to turn that round so as you can see where I'm positioning that. So I've just pushed that in against the former and I'm just going to bring that back round now. If I leave that to the side you'll be able to see that while we just create the sole of our shoe. So I've pushed my cutter into my pad. Again here are the handles on the back. I've just push those into the roller pad. And again I've got some pre-rolled flour paste or gum paste. I've also just put a little tiny amount of petal base just around the outside edge of the cutter and on the inside embossing detail. That's just so that the paste releases very easily from the cutter. Then I'm just going to take my rolling pin and roll straight across the top of the paste laid over the cutter. Now if you need to you can just run your finger around the outside edge of the cutter just to make sure you have a nice clean edge. And just around the inside where we had that embossing pattern, I'm just gonna create the detail by running a ball tool just very quickly along that edge. And you can just see that starting to define that area now. When you're satisfied with that, I'm just going to now remove my paste from my cutter. And to do that, I'm going to use a scriber just into the paste and it very easily lifts up. And if I just bring that round, you're able to see quite clearly all of that embossed detail. I'm just gonna turn that over now. And I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of glue just across the heel section. I can paint onto here or I can actually paint 
onto the heel section that's waiting over at the former, whichever is easier for you. And then I'm just going to lay the sole up against that little heel. So if I just bring that up so that you can see what I'm doing, and then we can bring that along and just reposition it up against my former. So if I turn that round to the side, you can just see that sitting there, ready now for the next section of our little lady's shoe. For the next section, again, I'm going to use my flower paste or gum paste. And again, a little bit of petal base just across the inside of the cutters, the ankle strap and the back strap as well. Make sure that your paste fits over your cutters. If for some reason it doesn't, we'll just roll out and then create another section. So paste over the top, roll over with your rolling pin again. And I'm going to do three in one here. So you can just see very easily that that just straight over to there. Just define that section over there, roll that side, and again pull away your paste if I work from this side, like so. And I'm just going to put that little section that's left over that last section of my cutter. So again, rolling straight over, and you can see straight away that defines that outside edge for you. And again, just with the finger, just around the outside if you feel you need to. Now again, we had some embossing detail, just inside edges with that detail. So again, just quickly around those sections there, down the middle on these ones. And I'm just going to pull out this one first of all. This is the upper section. And this is, if you can see that detail onto there, and this is where you can, if you want to, pre-dry this just over here, just by resting that across our upper former. And that, if that sits there for a few minutes, that will dry, and then that can just be placed across onto our section there. But before I put that on there for drying, I'm just going to bring this in. This is actually the little embosser. And if I place that paste just down in front there, line up my cutter over the top, and then I'm just going to push down with the handle. And this will just give me a nice pattern just into that little section there. Then I'm going to place it back over there, ready. So like I say, you could, can pre-dry those if you feel the need to, first of all. And then I'm actually ready to place this over my sole. So I'm just going to paint across the inside edge with a little bit of sugar glue. Not too much, just enough to be able to have that stick against the sole. And I'm just going to position that. And then just push with a leaf veiner just to secure that against my shoe each side. You can, if you want to, use two leaf veiners as you're pushing against each side. That just helps secure it into position for you. You could actually use a, a little design wheel as well. And I've left these other two sections just in the cutters. They're ready to remove now. So again, just with my scriber, lift that straight out. And again, you can just see that decorative detail across the edging. And again, just a little bit of sugar glue on those edges where you decide you're going to attach that to the back. I think this is actually my ankle strap, so I'm just going to position that up against the shoe here. Give it a little push. And at this point in time, you can be quite decorative. It very much depends on where you decide you want the strap to be positioned. So you could have that at an angle or straight across. And then the back strap, which is a much thinner section. Again, just a little bit of glue a little bit of sugar glue, just each end where that's going to be positioned. So just push either side just to secure that into place. Now you can, if you want to, add in additional little sections with that, little blossoms as well. But that basically is how to make your little lady's shoe.